children of all ages welcome on into the show everybody as you can tell by the title of today's tonight's stream I am in a very foul mood as you can tell <clears throat> by, my, by my title tonight it's a catchy one that's for sure and it's because I am in super Super foul mood. It's been a stupid ass day today, per the usual. Let's do our daily, get that out of the way, get some dilithium in there, and then we'll discuss uh, some of the stupid ass things that have happened today. And that will probably happen right, right. Okay, the in the coming days. Clip of frequency uh, fuck that human. Frequency of the modulator. I don't need it. All right, let's get moving. We need to get to the complex quickly. Yo, what's up, Marshall? Bombing run. The Enterprise must have finished off the Borg vessel. Let's go stab the fuck out of these stupid ass Borg. Your biological and technological state of this will be I think I had a different game tonight. Resistance is inevitable. I'm in a destroy shit mood tonight. And STO is just not that game. I saw that! I saw that before I came on. Let's check for survivors. There's a thing said I had three friends on, so I was looking to see who it was. And uh, you were doing SAO. Uh, UC is playing Destiny 2. And Kursu, I don't think, it had a thing for him. Bad day? Yeah. Board life signs in the complex. Depends on your, your uh, sure definition of a bad day. My day wasn't really bad. But it's just. I, it went from okay to shit real quick and and so now I'm just in a piss poor foul mood and so it's just the way it goes I had a lot of shit go down the last few days and some stupid shit that's been going on in the news today and I'm just uh, so over things right this minute. I'm over shit right now. I am sick of the way shit is going. It's not going how I want it to go. And I am just Hell in my flank, there was nobody there. Yeah, I know. A lot of shit's out of my control, and I just. Yeah. There are lights over there. Yeah. The board will be drawn to it. Like so I have to find a way. Protect the locals. You can have light to... signs ahead. Some of them are cool. Uh. Well, what do you want? I have to find a constructive way to vent my frustrations. And the easiest way to do that is to 
usually There's a reason why I said I have have to find a different game to vent my frustrations out on and I can't I gotta figure out which one that would do it. We're gonna have some uh we're gonna have a very, very good discussion about some dumb shit in the news today. Some dumb shit that's happened today. So this is gonna be one of those that uh, normally I would start talking about some stuff. People would roll in and I'd eventually just run them off because I'd be talking shit. Well, this is going to be one of those nights. <laughs> it's just going to be one of them nights where I'm going to just lay into something. And discuss a, a bunch of different things. Can't remember the Setting your tricorder to emit a neurolytic pulse should work. Let go of my shelf. There's got to be something up here. There's got to be something on my shelf up here that will serve the purpose of what I need. To accomplish. Hmm. What on my shelf up here? Looks like the board have changed their tactics. They're avoiding coming argument even if this area is clear. You can have Borg signals to the north though. I keep an eye on I keep looking on my shelf up here every once in a while and just kind of find something. Apparently, resource node zero one is a garbage dump. It smells wonderful. And there must be something of tactical value. Make sure they don't. Think it. Oh, there's a Build a transporter. Power amplifiers. Eh. Uh huh. Copper tubing. And lithium batteries. Oh, hell. I think I know what they're doing. Point. Complex has. They're building a fucking transporter. Holy shit! Let's go stop them! <clears throat> no sign of the Borg. Run a scan, make sure Picard's team is all accounted for. Picking up Starfleet comm badges inside <laughs> the bar and... Hold on. More Starfleet comm badges inbound, but they're on board for Okay, Seven, do your thing. Speak to me. She's not speaking. There she goes. Alright. And we're off. Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Okay, perimeter's clear. 
thinking that transmission tower is our next stop. Yeah, the transmission tower is our next stop. Burn, mother, burn, bitches, burn. some glasses that were better than the best you've had to start with. That's good, right? All right, this one's done. Let's go. Oh. That fucker exploded. Why'd he go that way? Man, damn it! He went the wrong way! Damn Kagan. He went the wrong way. Stupid fucker. This will go a lot smoother if I'm not under fire. Well, I ain't the one that did it. Who's shooting you? Oh, that one. There you go, do you think? Remember the part what the about fuck? Yeah, do that. Oh. They're on to us. Security protocols just spike and not in a Ah. The drones are getting too close for comfort. Fix that. I'm trying. Not my fault, Kagan. Got them moving. And now they did not go yeah. after another one. That Don't go easy. after them. Ugh, dumbass. We have analyzed your tactics. We have adapted. We are important. Oh, shit. Too far away. Set fire to the damn thing! Crap! Fractal self replicating security. This will go a lot smoother if I'm not under <sighs> Dag damn it. What? The drones are getting too close for comfort. Fix that. Well, I'm trying, Seven. You gotta give me a freaking minute to do it. Son of a bitch. Remember the part about keep them off me? Yeah, do that now. Oh, my fire button was stuck. There we go. Thanks, Seven. There, that's all of them. Do it, do it, do it. Got it. The transporter's out of commission. <laughs> Hmm. 
Do you think, or do you think? I think we're through the over as far as you're concerned. I'll deal with all this board tech lying around. It's a mess, but my nanite. Yeah, it's not bad it. stats on the on the glasses. And you feel free to return to the present. Take a break. And on the bray. <laughs> Ain't that the way it works? Uh, let's see. Where do I need to put these? I need to put these somewhere. Where, where, where? How about right here in Delta? <gasps> yep, I'm going to put them in Delta. Okay, so let's go here. Here and here. Let's go ahead and get these going. Thanks. Fleet modules. is done. Hey, wait a minute. I think I should be able to get the, um, thing. <clears throat> the, uh, simulated console. I should be able to get the simulated console now. Where is it? 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 That's the simulated def deflector dish. Shield array. Ha ha! There it is. The Universal Console. <laughs> Do I really want that though? Hmm. Now that I think about it, now that I look at it, Do I really want it? I mean, the crit chance and the crit severity is is real, realistically the only reason I get that console. What about the assimilated deflect, deflector dish? What does it do? Ooh, hull capacity, drain expertise, control expertise. The fleet deflector, I think, is along those same lines, but I can't remember. Nope. Uh, let's see. What do I need discovery-wise? I need... I have the Tilly Shield. I need the engine. And I have the Lorca console already. So... I need the... That one. 
shield power, engine power, flight speed, flight turn, impulse speed. But with the two piece, but with the two piece, I get 120% hull regen. With the three piece, uh, let's see, that's the Tilly shield, the engines, the matter antimatter core, the matter deflector. I don't really use that, so I don't need the three piece, but I do need the two piece. So, I need to do that one. The question is, is am I going to have, do I have the, no, I do not have the spore canisters. Shit. Well, damn. Which means I need to do disco uh, things in order to get what I need. exactly what I need to do. Magnifying armaments. This is the ground stuff. Shield resistance heals health when dealing damage. That's passive. I need that one. Okay. So... Let's do... I need... need that, but I had to do it in a random in order to get what I need. In order to get what I need, I have to do randoms. Damn it. Alright, we're going to do a couple, and then I think I'm going to switch over to a, a different game, but I don't really know what I want to play. I want to play something extremely violent. Something that would very excessively get out my aggression. Hmm. What do I have that would get out my aggression? Listen up. The war has not. Hey, I needed a disco one. Sense. What do you know? It's a disco one. Uh. I needed a disco one, and that's what I got. I don't have it on PlayStation, though. I only have it on. I only have it on. Uh, Xbox, which I can still stream from Xbox. I didn't think about that. <clears throat> Here they come. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I can stream from Xbox. It's a pain in the ass, but I can do it. I'll get buried in, I'll get buried in the directory on GTA. There's so many freaking people that are streaming right now. It was on top of the thing. Well, I can do the I can do the uh what is it? I can run some of the I can run the heists run a heist a few times. That'll probably work. Because there's a lot of taking out guards and shit like that, so... Yeah, that would probably work.
too, but not on purpose. If I take that back, I do on purpose. <laughs> hey, in real life, it, realistically, that's the only time you can actually drive on the sidewalk is is, uh, is in a video game because you can't do it in real life. So it's kind of frowned upon if you do it in real life. Because the FPS is I am terrible. Get into position to prepare for the next assault. The hell even is what? Here come the Klingon battleships. Keep fighting. Ah shit. Oh, I didn't find out. It's a console for something. Or a power for something. Ain't mine. I know the big tornado thing. I've seen that one, but this one, I've seen it pop up. I can't think of what it is. That thing. Big giant energy tornado. Portal 
whole thing is actually a, a, a heal. It's like a black hole. Ooh, black thing. on the top of the thing tonight. Yeah, there's 442.4 thousand people streaming GTA tonight. I'd get buried so deep in the damn con in the thing, it'd be pitiful. I'd get buried so deep in the damn directory, in that directory, it'd be insane. a lot of people are doing are playing it on PC and they're doing the RP stuff and my PC won't do that it won't play it well let me rephrase that it'll play the it'll play the regular stuff but it and it'll play it online but it won't do the um, the 5m the 5M stuff, it won't do it. The RP stuff, it won't do that. I tried the other day. I tried it not too long ago. And it would never load. It kept crashing it. Or not crashing it, but uh, it would never load it, so I just gave up. I need a better PC so I can actually play games again. How is this no pixel shit? Is that something on 5 a.m.? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, there's a lot of people on there. Oh crap, I forgot to do the thing. I got one canister. What the hell is this no pixel 3.0? I see this is on a lot of them. Is this a new... Is that a new RP one? I might have to Google that one. I'm going to have to Google that one. Let's do the Google real quick. Let's find out what the hell this is. It's a, it's a role place. It's an RP server. No pixel. Okay. 
what are no pixel servers and how to apply to play GTA roleplay. Exclusive, where players have to fill out. Oh shit! They fill out an application to form to be accepted into the platform. Your players receive the owner's approval. Their login information is whitelisted, and they can play on the server. Okay, I got you. Critical rate or damage better? Um, to be honest with you, Marksman, I am not 100% sure. That would be uh, iffy. I mean, if you crit, if you got better crit rate, uh, crit chance, then you're gonna crit more. But if your damage is better, you're just getting just basic damage, just base damage. So it's kind of a toss up. Uh, better base damage will help you most of the time because uh, you wouldn't have to worry about it hitting a critical a hit hitting a crit. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> you wouldn't have to worry about getting hitting a crit in order to get good damage. But granted, you hit a critical, that's when the most of your damage when you get a higher damage at higher uh, damage higher damage output. Wow, fuck, there is nothing on here. Oh, there's one. <clears throat> Let's go forty two fifty. Too far. There we go. <coughs> and I need to go to my inventory and there we go. I got plenty of ore. Not a lot of refined, but plenty of ore, that's for sure. Alright. Now I need to go back to the inventory so I can clean this shit out. Let's see now. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Definitely get rid of that. That. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Nope, not re-engineer. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Use that. All right, I got them all. Got all the badges. All right, and the pick. <coughs> I need to pick one for this. Let's see. 34. 39. 34. Let's go with... We'll go ahead and put it in gamma. Screw it. Okay. Back to the inventory so I can clean it back out again. What was that? No. Nope. 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 Definitely not. Actually, I might think about that one. <clears throat> I might hold on to those. I might put that one on the other one. On the other ship. 
Let's go right here to this guy. remember a third one.
me in there. Or there. Okay, so it was just those two. I guess. <clears throat> Just hold on to mine so I can see the damn thing. That's very annoying. <clears throat> Alright, either way, I don't have enough. Where, how much am I? I'm at... I need 2456. That'll put me in the next bracket. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that, I think. Let me find one here. Wow, I don't remember this thing being that low down. Oh, shit, I don't have any fleet marks. Crap. Nothing in the colony world stuff. So it's all. I can do that. There we go. Alright, that puts me over the 20 mark. That puts me over the 20,000 mark. Should anyway. Let me find myself again. <clears throat> Nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in here. Should be right here. That's not what I wanted. I wanted mine. Damn it. Regardless, that'll put me over that 20 mark. Now, who do we got? What do we got to do to con to? Please message Chief of Staff for your. <clears throat> Alright, I got to message Joker. Who I think is here. I remember seeing him. Holy crap, he even looks like the Joker. Look at this. That's awesome.
lost the thing. Promo what? Um, what I supposed to do. <laughs> that is trippy that he made a Joker. He made a Joker out. He made a Joker tune in in STO. That is trippy. I get a kick out of that. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Ju juicy couture skank. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Shit, he bought he bumped me all the way up to master. Oh hell. Yay! I can go get fleet stuff a fleet deflector now. Hello, thank you, Lord Jesus. Alright, let me bounce my ass back onto my ship. <clears throat> Colony World, that's where I want to go. <clears throat> Fleet Deflector, here I come. <laughs> oh. screen damn hey you know I said earlier that I was going to talk about some of the dumb shit that happened today of course you know the uh, the uh, the George Floyd trial ended today 
they come back with a guilty verdict on Chauvin on all three counts, which was not really a surprise considering how politically motivated the dumb shit was going to be. So it wasn't really a, never really a doubt that it was going to come back anything other than that. So, and you can say, well, why is that such a problem? Well, it's real simple, really. The, uh, no matter how you look at it, how you how you look at it, how you think about it, whatever your take is on how things went down. <clears throat> the uh, the man he made a mistake. He was stupid. He did something very stupid. And it cost a man his life. Was it necessary? No. Could he have done things a lot different? Absolutely. But the man was not going to get a fair trial regardless. And when you got members of Congress in their infinite stupidity, uh, including that fucking moron in, in the White House saying uh, that basically pushing for a guilty verdict and saying that if there's not a guilty verdict and I'm talking about mad Maxine orders it, sitting there telling the world that if there's anything other than a guilty verdict there's going to be more violence in the street she's sitting there calling for this shit She's a fucking idiot if I ever saw one. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Violence solves nothing. These protesters and, and what difference does it make? So they're so they're not gonna bro they're not gonna protest uh for they're not gonna protest for George Floyd tonight. They're just gonna find somebody else and protest for him. What's the other kid? The kid that was shot by the cop. Uh da 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 the right kid, Dante Wright, I think. One of the cops, she thought she grabbed her taser and she grabbed her, her sidearm instead and she shot him by mistake. She admitted it on camera, on her body cam. She admitted it. She had done it. She didn't realize she had grabbed her uh, service pistol instead of her thing how, how you can get the two mixed up is beyond me but regardless she fucked up she killed a kid that she didn't need to now here here here's my issues with all of it here's my problem with it uh, and it goes for Floyd this goes for right this goes for any of them even the dude in the army dude that do I think what happened to him should have happened? No. What happened to him shouldn't have happened. But I watched his video from start to finish and a lot of the shit that happened to him could have been avoided if he'd have just done what he was fucking told. Uh, same with Floyd. A lot of his shit could have been avoided if he'd have just done what he was fucking told and not tried to get rid of his drugs. But the Floyd case, uh, there was a dude in I forgot where I forgot what state he was in. Virginia. He was in Virginia. Uh, he was an army lieutenant. Uh, he had just bought a Tahoe. He had his 30-day tags on his Tahoe inside the vehicle. Uh, he had it Need inside. Something? He had it taped to the. He had it taped to the back glass inside the truck, and he had tinted windows. So, cop pulled him because he didn't have his tags on the. He didn't have his tags where they could be seen. So the guy stopped him. Well, 
the guy drove for a mile and a half before pulling into the parking lot of a gas station. At this time, these cop at this time the cops are PO'd. Uh, they think that he's just being a douche, that he's trying to run from them, whatever. The guy said he was just trying to pull into a well lit area. When he got pulled over, he took his phone out of his damn pocket and set it up on his dash to show him while cops were giving him the command to turn off his vehicle and get out of the car. Because they didn't know, they, when they stopped him, they didn't see the tag, license tag in the window, so they stopped him for that. Uh, they started giving him commands, he didn't, he didn't listen to them, he kept disobeying. Uh, at this time there was two cops there, they were both yelling at him, giving him commands to get out, of, turn off the vehicle, get out of the car, put his hands out the window to hold nine yards. He didn't do it. He kept he kept being a douche. He kept being a smart ass. Now, in his defense, you know, he kept saying, "Hey, what's going on? What's going on?" He kept asking questions. Cops kept telling him, giving him commands to get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. He kept just sitting there asking, "What's going on? What's going on?" instead of just doing what he was fucking told and getting out of the truck. Uh, cops finally get up to his window. They're still giving him commands. To con they're constantly giving him commands to get out. They're at gunpoint because they don't know what's going on with this guy. They don't know what his mindset is, if he's got anything in the car, if there's anybody in, him, in the car with him or anything like that. They keep giving him commands. The dude didn't go, kept disobeying, didn't do anything. They get up to him at the window. They're still telling him, giving him commands, telling him to get out, get out, get out. He's not doing it. One of the cops goes to open the door. The dumbass puts his arm on the door and pulls the door shut. Uh, at this point, the cops are still, one of the cops tells him to get out of the car or I'm going to tase you. Uh, he didn't do it. I think he was going to say he was going to tase him. He didn't do that. He put his service pistol away. He had a taser. I think he put, or didn't grab a taser. He finally pulled his pepper spray. Kept giving him commands and got it and do it. He finally pulled his pepper spray out and said, look, get out of the car or I'm going to pepper you. The guy kept stalling, kept bitching, didn't do what he was told, didn't do what he was told. Cop pepper sprayed him. Uh, got him out told him to, got him unbuckled, got him out of the truck, got him out back, looked at him and said, uh, after they got him out, they started talking with him, uh, and he just sit there, he was being, he was being a smug dude, he was being a douche, plain and simple, uh, he weren't doing as he was asked, or weren't, he didn't do as he was told, and nothing like that, so they peppered him. After they got him out, they got paramedics there. They cleaned his eyes out. The cops sit him there at the very back, looked at him. He told him, he said, look, I stopped you because you didn't have your license tag on your truck put out where it could be seen. He said, now that I see where it's at, he said, if you had just stopped and listened to commands and, and obeyed the commands that you were given, he said, I'd let you off with a warning and sent you on your way. He said, but you didn't stop. Instead, you drove a mile and a half down the road to stop here. The guy, like I said, he had his uh, he had his phone set up on his on the dash of his car for one reason and one reason only. And that was to be stupid. And if he'd have just done what he was told to do, he'd have been fine. He'd have got a warning ticket and he'd have been on his merry way. Nothing would have happened. Uh, Dante Wright, same thing with his dumb ass. If he had of uh, cops stopped him for dead tags on his car after they stopped him, 
they ran his ta they ran his driver's license and everything. Found out he had a warrant for his arrest for uh, armed robbery. They had him, and this was a this was poor training on their part. They had him standing next to his driver's door with the driver's door open. The situation there's more. So the cop that had him was a black guy, <clears throat> and the other one was a white girl. Was a white woman. She's had been on the force I think twenty some years. All right. So the big cop that had a hold of him eased up on one of his arms, was putting the cuffs on him had the cuffs on him, had one cuff on him, dude snatched his arm out, jumped in the driver's seat of his car and was getting ready to drive off. Well, you the one cop people. said, get out, stop, get out of the car, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you, I'm going to tase you. She grabs her service pistol instead of her taser, thinking it's her taser. In her mind, she thought it was her taser. She yelled, taser, taser, taser. Turn to come to find out it was her service pistol. She shot the dude. Right? She shot the dude. One shot. Kill him. And when the guy drove off, you could hear it. You could hear her saying on her body cam, "Oh my God, I shot him." Which is completely different from the army guy. The army guy in Virginia was he was just being an idiot. Could have been avoided. All of it could have been avoided. Here's the problem with. Here's the problem with uh, the way <clears throat> the Floyd thing came out today. It's going to create a problem. It's going to create a problem with all law enforcement now. Because law enforcement see now. <clears throat> Alright, Marshall. <clears throat> All law enforcement see now is that every stop you come up on, you're going to be watched, you're going to be questioned, and if somebody is high on drugs or, high or trying to hide their drugs, this, that, and the other, if you don't see it, if you screw up and they get hurt, you're going to be responsible. Which makes their job as hard enough as it is. Their jobs are hard enough as it is. The shit that they see and deal with on a daily basis is, it, it, you know, it takes a special person to be a police officer nowadays. Because they see everything. You know, they see the, the junkies who cook their babies in stoves. <clears throat> you know, because they freaked out on some drug and you know, went nuts, you know. And so it, it, it's it's hard enough doing their job. And that trial, that it weren't really a trial; it was a sh dog and pony show, is what it was. The man was guilty before he ever walked in that courtroom. Anything other than a guilty verdict. But to have politicians sit there and say, well, if there's anything other than a guilty verdict, it's not going to be right. Or there's going to be riots on the street to incite a riot to incite violence on the streets, which is what Maxine Waters did. She incited violence. And people say, well, Trump incited violence on the 6th for the Capitol riots. And he told people to peacefully and patriotically protest. Maxine Waters flat out said on live TV, to be more confrontational. Basically, she's sitting here saying, if this, if this doesn't happen, then you should, there should be more violence on the street. You should be more confrontational. Cops got it bad enough as it is. They don't need her making their jobs a whole lot harder than it already is. But, and then I see, after 
here to, to show the verdict this afternoon. That lying fucker. In Washington, get sold there and praises the man. A man who, I might add, had a lethal dose of fentanyl in his system. I don't know. I don't know how kneeling on somebody's shoulder can cause you to have cause you to have die from a lethal dose of fentanyl. Speaking of the Capitol riots, speaking of the Capitol riots, and how to, and, and well, let me get back to, to the show first. You know, the judge in that case told the jury to not let Things that were going on in the public determined the outcome of that case. The whole time, the lawyers were like, "Believe what you see with your eyes," which is basically what one of the lawyers that I, the lawyer channels that I watched said. Believe with your eyes, and the media lies, because that's what they did. They believe they believed the media lies. see it again. So they weren't going to come back with anything other than what happened today. And believe it or not, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Because Chauvin was already under investigation for corruption and tax evasion. He was going to prison regardless. He was going to jail regardless. It didn't make a difference how that case ended up. He going to jail anyway. He hadn't filed a tax return in 10 years. He was going to jail for a long, he was going to jail anyway. It didn't matter. Nobody cared about that. Because that's not what mattered to them. The emotional response to what happened is all that mattered. <clears throat> I 
And that's exactly what happened. It was an emotional response to an emotional issue and it went exactly as it was supposed to. Depending on how you look at things. Me, I question everything. I question the validity the validity of everything. I question how things are done, how things are said, how things are told. I question everything. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You question everything. That way you're never surprised. But it does. It bugs me. It bugs me to no end. And now it puts so much scrutiny on on cops. Because now if they do a car stop, a traffic stop, and dudes on and they catch a guy who's high or drunk and they do one thing wrong they can be they're going to be the finger's going to be pointed at them and saying hey you did something wrong and it's just it's ridiculous but that that no matter what they say that that uh, that jury was influenced by everything they were influenced by the fact that if they come back with something other than a guilty verdict, the city was going to burn. People had already called for it. People had already called for it. Politicians were calling for it, which is disgraceful, and they should be censored or impeached, in my opinion. And so... It, it's it's not right. <clears throat> uh, crap. Damn things. Updates. Freaking updates, man. There we go. Alright. Okay. So. Uh. I completely and totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> So anyway, uh, the disgraceful nature, <laughs> say I lost train of thought, anyhow, uh, people in Minnesota, Minneapolis knew if they didn't come back with a guilty verdict, the city was going to burn. They, guess what? They're going to burn anyway. I guarantee you they're rioting right now. They might not be rioting for George Floyd, but they'll be rioting for some damn buddy else because that's what they do. They freaking burn places down for no damn reason other than they can. Portland's been ablaze for months. And it doesn't stop. And it's not gonna stop. Because stupid ass politicians pay for that shit. Stupid ass politicians keep 
stoking the flames. Why? Because they can. Just because they can. They want to. They can say what they want to. But the fact of the matter is, is that uh, every one of them are sorry shits. Plain and simple. And they need to be voted out for one. Uh, they need to be impeached. They need to be taken out of office. They don't deserve to be where and what they are. If you're a if you're a member of Congress or a senator and you sit there on national television and promote and prom and sit there and steady promote acts of violence in rioting in a street, your ass needs to be locked away. And it gets me back to, you know, on January 6th, you know, they impeached Trump on because they said Trump incited a riot, and that's what caused the Capitol riot, which they called an insurrection, which was mislabeled because they're just stupid. And he never said anything along the lines of doing that. He never said it. He said, peacefully and patriotically. That's what he said. Yet this stupid, yet these, some of these stupid ass politicians now, in this George Floyd case, sit right there and came right out and said that if there's anything other than a guilty verdict, you should, they should be more protests in the street and they should be more confrontational. The stupid ass actually said that they should be more confrontational. That is inciting violence. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And what kills me is this, that stupid ass has been allowed to do it for years and years and years and years and years. But because she's on the left side of shit, it's okay. What kills me is the same damn shit that they said Trump did, they did. She did it. They did it. And it's fine. Why? Because it's on the left. The left can do it. That yeah, reminds me. Uh, speaking of the Capitol riots, you know, the the cop, the, the, cap, the Capitol police officer who died, who they originally said he was bashed over the head with a fire hydrant, died because of his injuries. Turned out the man was never touched. And not only did he was he never touched, but he died later on that night. Guess what? His autopsy report was released today. The fucker died of a stroke. Yes, he died of natural causes. Not because he was bashed over a head Listen with a up. fucking the fire hydrant like those morons the on the news and the said. They came up with their bullshit lie. Which it's like the it's like gun violence. You see, uh, you, you you see all these news reports for shootings on TV, on the news now. They're on this. They said that they they said that he was in the Capitol building and that one of the protesters hit him over the head with a fire hydrant and it killed him because of it. That was the early. That was one of the first. Reports. And then the truth started coming out. That no, he was never touched. He was hit with like some pepper spray. He was hit with like some pepper spray or bear spray at one point. But he sprayed it at him, but he never got it. With him. He called his family and told his family he was fine. He was home. He was somewhere. He was out. He was safe. Whatever. And then later on that night. About, I think mean, it was five or six hours after he was done, he he passed away. And so the news jumped on the bandwagon of 
Trump, these Trump supporters bashed this man over in the head with a fire extinguisher and killed him when that was a bold-faced lie. The man was never hit with a fire extinguisher. He was never touched. As a matter of fact, he died hours later after the event that was done and over with. And then the autopsy report comes out today that he died of a damn stroke. Has any of the news media jumped on that bandwagon and said, Oh, we're sorry, we lied. Of course not. They're not going to. Why? Because they're a propaganda machine. It is their job to talk shit about people they don't like and continue to do so without any repercussions. Period. That's their thing. It's no different than tw it's no different than than Twitter and the U Twitter and YouTube and and, and and hell even Twitch. You know, Twitch is getting on this thing about the the offline. They can punish you for shit you do offline on any other social media site now. You know, and they're they got pissy with the one they got pissy with the one. Twitch thought who was uh, doing her OnlyFans. She was talking, to, she was promoting her OnlyFans account and shit like that. I hate to tell you this, but if Twitch thinks that uh, thoughts promote OnlyFans is the worst that they got, they are poorly mistaken. I know of at least two that will stream on Twitch and on Chatterbait at the same time. I know their names right now. As a matter of fact, one of them's probably online right now. Reading some heavier ships incoming. Raiders and And so, e girls on Twitch promoting an OnlyFans is the least of their fucking concern. Search, man. Get into position to prepare for the next assault. It was for a sociology experiment. Not the first time I've done it. Not 
I should you not. My associate, I had to do a turn. I had to do a paper. I had to do a, uh, a turn paper for sociology. I was taking sociology in college. Right? And we had to pick a topic to write about in our paper. And I was like, you know, I couldn't... I couldn't think of anything that would, uh, I couldn't think of anything to write about for my sociology paper. Couldn't think of anything. So I come up with the most stupidest thing I could come up with. And so my sociology term paper in college was about the effects of strip clubs on society. Shit you not. I made an A on that turn paper for that. I wish I had that paper. That'd be an awesome one to read. Of course, that was back in my younger days. Take the fleet marks. Because I can use those. I can use those. There's one somewhere because I just saw it earlier. Any of these. Perfect. There's one right there. There we go. Fleet marks gotten, fleet marks gone. Just that easy.
Where did I say? Nukara? Oh shit, I forgot. Yep. There we go. That'll give me enough reputation marks in all of them. Put something in some in Dyson, Delta, Temporal, and Dyson and Temporal. Alright, so I got That's not what I wanted. What am I looking for? Oh, cancers. I got five of them. Four of them. I need five of them. I can just buy one now. I got enough now. I can just get that last canister. I hate to pay the hundred for it, but that'll give me five. It should give me five anyway. Um, this one. There we go. And the disco marks. And I'll wait for two minutes for that one. <coughs> oh. You know what? I wonder. And I wonder, 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 wonder who. Oh, that ain't what I want. This is what I want. I bet. She is not online tonight. Oh, I see the hot tub streams in the IRL are running wild, though. One started it, now they're all doing it. Here's some other news. Jake Paul, of course, knocked out Ben Askren Saturday night. If I was Ben Askren, I would hide myself in shame. Because, you know, for him to be a former Olympic wrestler, a former MMA fighter, he got knocked out by Jake Paul. That's embarrassing. I would hide in shame. I would never show my face in public ever again. After that. Cause that's just off. He talked all that smack about how he was going to beat Jake Paul, and and and, and, and and be honest with you, he should have. But instead, he got knocked out, or he got TKO'd in the first round. And I thought a punch that did it. He popped him good on the chin and dropped him. But I didn't see the whole thing. I just saw the punch that knocked him down. I didn't see anything after that because they say that it was controversial that the judge, that, not the judge, that the ref stopped the fight when he shouldn't have, and I, I don't know. I can't make that decision because I haven't seen it. But the fact that he lost to him is embarrassing, and he should be ashamed and ridiculed. And he caught hell. He caught heat for it too. He caught grief for it, that's for sure. And 
and rightfully so. Crap. And I think Logan is supposed, I think Logan Paul is supposed to have a fight with Floyd Mayweather here soon. I had to look that up, but I won't say he's supposed to be fighting Floyd Mayweather pretty soon. Uh, there's no way he's going to beat Floyd. That's just a gimme. There's no way he's going to beat Floyd. That's just not going to happen. But. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch Floyd stomp his ass, though. I never really, well, I'll take that back. I was a Floyd, I was a fan of Floyd Mayweather back in his early days. And he's an awesome boxer. He truly and truly is. There's truly, in my opinion, nobody better. Thanks for the assist. That is what But, he's a bit cocky. A bit cocky, a bit douchey, but that's just the way he's always been. I mean, that's just the way he is. But you can't argue with the man's skill. I think BJ Penn has already challenged Jake Paul. He told him to go ahead and get him the thing and he would knock him out. <laughs> so, that would be funny to watch. BJ Penn, I actually think, would do it too. He could, I think BJ Penn would actually actually do it. Actually beat him. It'd be funny as hell to watch. Which, <laughs> Again, I thought Askren was going to beat him, and that didn't happen, so. It's just one of those things, I guess. Alright, I am having issues with Twitch tonight. That 
that's cool. It's a Tommy gun. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. Take out the medic first. There you go. You gotta take out the medic first, man. That way you can't save him. Is that all of them? I don't know the side. We've been able to gain it. I want that staff weapon that she's got. That, um... The he, that that character's got the the, the not the the, the Iconian one. That thing is awesome. Shut down some of the force fields. Keep heading around the promenade. Figure out where you can get that Tommy gun from. That would be awesome to have. <laughs> you thought you could take the station from me? Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> What's today? Today's Tuesday. <laughs> kill them. No, don't kill them. I don't like this part. About as much as I don't like the part with uh, Lita. It's very annoying. Not gonna do it because pain in the butt to get right from the Picard bundle. Uh, it figures. You gotta find some way to get that money out, squeeze the money out of you. I threw a knife, she threw a grenade. Damn it, she did it again. There we go. Oh. Oh! I can't see. I'm blinded. I'm blinded by the light. One of these days if somebody's gonna hit me with a... They're gonna hit me with a freaking stupid strike because I'm singing a little part of the team. Advancing algorithm. Force field powering down. Good, let's go get Lita. You cannot Ooh. stop me! You are but a stepping stone! <clears throat> the power of the paw rates is with me! No, no, not the power Enemy of the paw rates. Alright, get her attention. Get her on the pad. Get her on the pad. Get her on the pad. You gotta get her over here on the pad. Somebody hit the button. <laughs> the book of the Coast of Motion has shown me the way to power. You are simply. Uh oh. Is she after me? Yes. You cannot win. We have technology you haven't yet dreamed of. I find that hard to believe. You have technology that we can't even dream of. I can dream of a lot. Come 
heading this way, girl. Come on. Oh, go that way. There you go. Whoa, she changed into something creepy. That was trippy. I suppose I should be thanking you. You're the ones that return the orb to us. Oh, she turned to a Pagiri. Somebody go over here hit the you button. Hit the, somebody go hit the we button. Button's over there. Go hit it. Dude, whoever she's after needs to run this way. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come after me. I dare you. The book of the Coast of Motion has shown me the way Ooh. to power. You are kindling. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the blades. The book of the coast of motion has shown back to the knives. See if power. that pisses her off enough to chase you me. Are nope. Oh, she just there she goes. Yay, we did it. I will not be stopped by you. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. This is a minor setback. Sure is. Just a minor setback. All teams, stand by for emergency beam out. Okie dokie. I agree with the emergency beam out part. You haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, we have. At least for now. Mm. Alright. I hear a red alert somewhere. Welcome back. We're showing mission. Leave the map. I'm 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 the map. That's the only problem with children, having children. Which mine aren't so bad. Mine aren't so bad about it anymore. They don't. They don't watch anything anymore. They watch. They watch. You. They. They watch dumb shit on YouTube now. Some of the crap they watch on YouTube, though, I question sometimes. I truly do. I truly question some of the crap that they watch. Dyson and Delta. Dyson and Delta. Dyson and Delta and Temporal. I guess we'll go with Dyson because it's the first one. Uh, let's see. In order. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to put my um engine there. Oh, I know. They learn a lot. They learn a lot. Whether they need to or not, they learn a lot from that crap. My oldest boy, he watches a lot of history stuff on there. And so he just, he'll ramble off history facts at random. It's quite funny sometimes. Space flanking. Create an opening for yourself by destabilizing the rear facing shields of a foe. When your projectiles impact enemies, crit severity. Why is it gotta be always from the back? Always from the back. Always from the back, man. I don't get it. We're gonna go with the space flanking. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's not what I wanted. I need to check my... I 49. I need a 50. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. They don't like Pokemon. They used to. They don't anymore. They don't watch Pokemon. Actually, I don't think they've ever watched Pokemon. My oldest is into The Simpsons here lately. He's into the Simpsons, and my little one, my youngest, is... What has he been watching? He's been watching a lot of Mr. Beast. And... What else has he been watching? He'll watch, this, he'll watch some Cartoon Network stuff every once in a while. But he's been watching a lot of Mr. Beast, and he's been watching a bunch of Minecraft videos here lately. Into Minecraft. He's back. He's getting into Minecraft. Back into Minecraft again. <sighs> ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. But yeah, they don't. They don't watch Pokemon. When I say he watches some stuff on Cartoon Network, he watches like uh, Gum The Amazing World of Gumball and Teen Titans Go. That's his two favorite shows. Which, in all honesty, I like watching Gumball and Teen Titans Go as well. I think it's funny as shit. Now granted, it's not as good as his old school Cartoon Network by far. But, not as good as a Cartoon Network, not as good as it used to be. <sighs> oh, I saw the first, the... I saw the first seven minutes of Mortal Kombat Undine today. Are attacking along three vectors. These There's vectors like a seven-minute clip of the first seven the minutes. The map Love it. And, this bar will help you locate friendly and I watched it today. The and it has got me wanting to can't wait till Friday because Mortal Kombat comes out on Friday on 
the 23rd. I can't wait. I am anticipating it. I'm ready to watch it. Now, granted, I don't have it. I need to get HBO Max. I don't know how you could make it through the first five minutes, man. Usually, the f some of the episodes are boring as crap, but some of them are pretty good. See, I never watched the old, the original Teen Titans. You want to talk about some funny? You you want to talk about some just stupid humor? Find some Uncle Grandpa episodes. You will not find anything stupider that is just dumb humor. Because, uh, oh, Uncle Grandpa, there's Gus the Dragon, which is like a god version of Godzilla. There's, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Amazing Flying Tiger. Something like that. She flies by shooting rainbows out of her butt. I've seen Chowder. And I think I've seen. I won't say I've watched a little bit of Flapjack. But there's like, uh. Pizza Steve is like. Pizza Steve kind of sounds like Jack Black. And so. Google Uncle Grandpa. Trust me, you would not be disappointed. Family Guy. Awesome show. An errant fluidic rift has opened between the lanes. The location is marked on your map. There's another one there too that I used to enjoy watching. I can't remember what it was. Clarence. Clarence was a good one. I used to like watching the players too. The Family Guy is awesome. I enjoy Family Guy. I don't know what Seth McFarlane was smoking when he came up with that show, but it was a good one. <laughs> I guess that's no different than, uh, what's his name, the guy that come up with The Simpsons. Which The Simpsons is, I haven't watched The Simpsons in forever either. Good old South Park, I haven't watched South Park in a while. Aaron Fluidic Rift has opened the game. We 
wish they'd bring Ren and Stimpy back. That was good. I used to love Ren and Stimpy. stuff to me they ain't gonna get no show oh Disney is awful Disney is awful I've never been a Disney. I've never been a Disney cartoon fan because Disney's never really had anything. Disney's never really had anything I like watching. So I've never been a big fan of Disney. Too tame for me. Nickelodeon had to get some good stuff with uh, with me and Stimpy and uh, some other. Well, it was here and there, but Disney never had anything I would watch, except for DuckTales. And I ain't talking about that shit that they put the DuckTales name on now. I'm talking about OG DuckTales. Not that fake mess they got now. got the Animaniacs. I forgot about that. The Animaniacs are on Hulu now. Performing a scan of the river. That was... Animaniacs are good. I like the, Anima I like the Animaniacs. With Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. An errant fluidic rift has opened between the lanes. Location close the fluidic grip now. You got uh which one is it? Wacko, which is the who sounds like John Lennon. Dot the girl and Wacko uh, Yakko. Because the best thing out of it. Animaniacs are good, but the best one's off of Animaniacs is peeking in the brain. That's another one. That I don't know whoever, when they created that one. Uh, I don't know what they were smoking when they created that one, but that was a good one. They were on some potent stuff when they created that one. Undine Dreadnought has entered local space. Where? 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 I can't get away from this stupid bubble thing. There it is. Like, I remember when, uh, 
what is it? It's the, uh... Toonami, but Toonami was on at like 4 in the afternoon. Right? I think it was 4 in the afternoon. Somewhere in that range. And they would show... You know, they would show like an hour of Toonami. Performance. In the afternoons. Oh yeah, good old Toonami. You can't go wrong with Toonami. Because when I first started watching Toonami, that's when they were showing, um, they were showing Gundam Wing and something else. When I first started watching Toonami. Some of the new one, but never watched the originals. I started watching Black Clover actually on uh, Toonami, on New Toonami, <clears throat> but I got to quit watching it because uh, it got to a point where I got tired of paying for cable and so I quit watching it, even though I can get online and watch it, I just never got back to it. I started watching, what did I start watching? I started watching My Hero Academia. I watched a little bit of it for a little while. I watched Black Clover for a little while. I watched, uh, Bubble Soup Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans. I watched it for a little while. Actually, I watched that whole series. I'll take that back. Me neither. I hadn't had it in a while either. I watched all of Bleach, I watched all of DBZ. I tell you about, I haven't watched all of DBZ. I like Iron Blade Orphans, it's pretty good. I was surprised. I want to watch the Gundam Unicorn one series. I started watching it and then I quit watching it like four episodes into it. I want to get back and watch it. And I want to go back and watch the originals. I want to go back and watch it from the beginning. I want to start all the way back at Mobile Suit Gundam and work my way through. Because I like Gundam Wing. I like Iron-Blooded Orphans. Unicorn, what I've watched of it, was pretty good. I liked. So I'd love to get a little bit more in-depth with it. A little more into it. <clears throat> how far how how deep I did get into the Gundam series I have the original 
uh, live action Gundam movie of which I heard I heard I read that they were making a new one See, I've wa I've seen like bits and pieces of MSG. I hadn't seen any of Zeta. I did watch a little bit of Double O. I watched a little bit of Unicorn. I've seen all of Gun I've seen all of Gundam Wing, and I've seen all of Iron Blood and Orphans. And yes, <clears throat> there is a live Gundam movie. It's called G Savior because I have it on DVD. I don't know how I, f I f stumbled upon it one day. And I was, and as soon as I seen it, I was like, "What? I gotta check this out." <clears throat> it's it is super cheesy, and it's like early '90s CGI, so it's like awful. <laughs> By today's standards, it's awful, but. I mean, it's not like, you know, like on uh, Ready Player, on the, the movie Ready Player One, where they did the, the mobile suit Gundam part in there. That was ten times better, a hundred times better than how G Savior made out. So, <clears throat> when I'm saying like cheesy 90s CGI, I'm talking like next gen, uh, Star Trek Next Generation early next gen graphic uh, CGI or uh, or what was it even Babylon 5 or oh uh, god what was it <clears throat> Andromeda was a, was one that did had bad CGI had that was kind of Fr uh, crazy looking CGI. So did I. I've, found, I've, I've watched like I've seen like clips on YouTube every now and again. I'll find them. <clears throat> Andromeda was very underrated. I believe, in my opinion, it was very underrated. <clears throat> It actually was decent. Yeah. My guilty pleasure here lately has been watching Lucifer. I've been watching Lucifer on Netflix. Ugh, I got to start Falcon and Winter, Falcon and the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I got to start it at some point. I want to watch it. I saw the preview for Saint, uh, Shang Chi, and I am not impressed. It's probably going to be one of those that I skip. 
I'll look for the end credit scenes on YouTube after it comes out in order to find out what part it will play in the bigger picture. But that's probably about as far as I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> so. <clears throat> The spider, the new Spider-Man's coming out. Ooh, which reminds me, uh, Alfred Molina, the guy who played Doc Ock in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, is supposed to reprise his role as Doc Ock in the next Spider-Man movie. Because they're gonna do. It's not a definite, but it's rumored that they're doing the Spider Verse in the in the next one. Because they're supposedly rumored was they were bringing Tobey Maguire back to reprise his role, and Andrew Garfield to reprise their versions of Spider Man. Uh, supposedly, William Defoe is coming back as uh, Green Goblin. Um, Jamie Foxx coming back as Electro supposedly rumored so it's going to be interesting going to be interesting got a ship so I'm gonna do that one 70 60 60 rumors are true it will be a good movie so we'll find out in December I think it was December because <clears throat> that's when I think it's supposed to come out 
they're keeping it tight lip and I read somewhere today that uh, Michael Keaton he is going to reprise his role as Batman in the Flash movie because they're supposed to do like a Flashpoint movie so I'm betting I'm betting Michael Keaton is going to play uh, Flashpoint Batman instead of Bruce Wayne instead of him being Bruce Wayne I bet he'll be Thomas Wayne that'll be cool but they said he was going to be they said, they said that they were going to do like his version of Bruce Wayne in the multiverse so that's going to be interesting to find out but if they do a Flashpoint movie I'm probably willing to bet that he's going to do Flashpoint Batman instead of uh, multiverse Batman we'll see only time will tell All right, I've actually calmed down now. Finally, that's all I needed was some video games to pull my mind out of on the PlayStation Store in the Play at Home thing. I definitely need to look into that because I remember seeing it, but I. Every time I checked it, it was gone. Because I wanted to get that. So I will definitely check that out after the stream. Ugh. Which reminds me, or not reminds me, which means my night is done. I started out in a piss poor mood. I ended my night in a far better mood. So, that's going to do it for me. Uh, as always, keep yourself safe out there from that stupid-ass virus. Stay healthy. Keep yourselves and your family healthy. Do the best you can anyway. It's hard out there. And like the dude says on the news... Only because you were here. <laughs> uh, you're always here, Marksman. You're always here. If I can't, if I can't count on anybody else, I can always count on you, bud. <laughs> oh me. As always, Marksman. Thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. You know I do. I appreciate everybody that hangs out in chat, as a matter of fact. Even if they're just lurking. I wish they'd be more active, but hey. If they're lurking, that's fine. <clears throat> but I will be back Thursday. Probably, hopefully, in a, better, in a far, far, far better mood. Don't know what I'm gonna play just yet. Well, I take that back. You know I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna always. I'm gonna do STO first. I might change it to something else after that, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Might break out some D Division Two. As a matter of fact, I haven't played that in a while. I'm sitting here looking at my shelf, and it's on there. And I haven't touched that in a while. I might get. I might get back into that one for a little bit. Or Destiny 2. I seen UC playing Destiny 2. I got that up there too, and I ain't messed with it in forever. I got two Resident. I got two Resident Evils up there. I hadn't messed with either. I got two and three that I've got to play. Thursday probably is. That's the 22nd. Yep. 22nd's when they're supposed to change it, so. Well, this event ends on the 22nd, so I would assume the next one's going to kick in right after that, as soon as the other one ends, so. Because I know this one's over with it on the 22nd, so I would assume that the other one's going to kick in right behind it. Let's see. Yeah, first contact ends at 1 o'clock on the 22nd, so I would assume the next one's going to pick up right after that. I 
I guess we'll find out Thursday. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> oh, me. Yep. All right. Well, that's it for me, guys. Marksman, I will see you Thursday. Probably. Everybody else. Um, as I always say before I cut before I cut it off, uh, it's the same thing the news guy says before he d at the end of his newscast. It's just a nice thing to say to people that is to take care of yourselves and each other. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.